When did you first learn of the break-in? On the day following the break-in, when I received this telephone call toward dusk late in the afternoon. Did you talk to the president on the 17th? No, I didn't. Not that I can recall. Did you talk to Mr. Haldeman on the 17th? I think I talked to him the following day. Were you concerned about it? Not, not particularly. If someone on my staff, even remotely on my staff, were charged with breaking and entering to the Democratic National Committee headquarters, or someone was even associated with it in a newspaper column, that I would be determined to find out if that happened. Now, was there this air of urgency in the White House on your part, or Haldeman's part, or Dean's part? It's not coming through that way. It sounds like a, a routine staff operation, but this wasn't a routine staff operation. Uh, point one, he wasn't on my staff, uh, but that's, that's beside the point. Some believe that your questioning was really, for the first time, a very uh, strong, hostile questioning of an administration witness. Now, is that a fair statement? No, I don't think it is, really. I, if it is, it's an unconscious uh, situation because I'm trying today, as I was trying when these hearings began, to treat everyone the same and to pursue the matter as dispassionately as very passionate circumstances will permit. Do you believe that spending political campaign funds to pay for the defense of uh, uh, criminal defendants uh, could embarrass the president? I don't know. I, I don't know what, it, it depends on the circumstances and the situation, I think. What about these, these circumstances and this situation involving the Watergate? I don't know that I can make a judgment on that. I'd like to submit to you a document. Ray, Charlotte, North Carolina demonstration. One, the most recent intelligence that has been received from the advance man, Bill Henkel, and the USS, United States Secret Service, I gather, is that we will have demonstrators in Charlotte tomorrow. The number is running between 100 and 200. The advance man's gut reaction is between 150 and 200. They will be violent with a penciled underlining of violent. They will have extremely obscene signs, underlining obscene. And next to the word obscene, penciled in writing, which to me, and you'll have to confirm this, uh, seems to be the same as the writing below your initialing, appears to be yours, if not, I want you to say so, saying good. Is that your writing uh, there where it says good? I believe it is, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. um, as has been indicated by their handbills, it will, all, it will not only be directed toward the president, but also toward Billy Graham, underlining, <laughs> underlining also toward Billy Graham, where you pencil in great. <laughs> My question specifically relates to exactly what mentality it is in the White House that goes ahead and indicates good when the word violence is mentioned, when obscenity is mentioned, which violence and which obscenity is to be directed against the President of the United States. How in any way can that be good? <laughs>